Alright, what's up everybody? So I've been asked by one of my viewers to go ahead and do a video on servos. On a couple of things with servos. Uh, replacing the gears and also um, how to set these at zero with your helicopter after you're done repairing your servo. Okay, so this is going to be a two-part series. Uh, the first part I'm going to show how to replace the gears in this. And for the second part, I'm going to um, show you guys how to um, go ahead and set zero. So let me go ahead and grab some parts here so you guys can see. So this is servo gears, what they actually look like. Okay. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is, of course, remove it from the helicopter um, or your plane or whatever you have it in. Uh, move the servo arm back and forth if it feels like it's grinding. Uh, making any kind of weird sounds, anything like that, then you probably have some damage inside to the gears. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and take out these four screws in the back. Okay, now the idea is not to get into this back case, but these screws go all the way through to the front case and hold it on. Okay. Okay, if you notice all I'm using is just a Phillips screwdriver very small jeweler screwdriver um, it's pretty much the only tool you really need for this job that you also need some servo gears and some servo grease okay okay so let's take a look now that that's come off this back part can also come off so we'll go ahead and we'll set this aside okay and then we'll take out these gears okay one of the things I like to do is um, just set these on my work surface in order so that they're easy to put back in place. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and put these gears back on after I take them off because this is a good working servo. Um, these gears here are in case you strip them and you need to replace them just go ahead and pick yourself up some replacement gears for your particular servo. Even metal gears tend to strip. Uh, metal gears look very similar inside too so this would also apply to metal gears. Okay, So we're going to go ahead and pull off the first gear. Okay, Second gear Okay, and if you notice, I'm putting these in order so that they're easy to remember what comes and goes, okay? So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put this last one. Actually, I move this a little bit off to the side. Okay, and then this will be the last gear, or the first one to go back on. Okay, so now I've stripped all the gears. Go ahead and check. Um, motor still feels tight. Everything still feels pretty good. And I got a little play in here, but it's not too bad. You want to go ahead and make sure that this little collar here is seated all the way in the bottom because sometimes it'll slip up and it'll impede on the gear. So we want to go ahead and push that down. Okay, so now replacing it is very easy because I have this all laid out in order. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Okay, as you're rebuilding these, you want to go ahead and apply servo grease. Okay, so just apply some there okay next gear to go on is this little gear on the little plastic stud there okay that is turned by the the motor which turns the gears okay apply a little bit of grease okay next gear is going to be this gear here okay so the way you can tell is this bottom gear has teeth that are very close together on the inside this has bigger teeth um, more coarse teeth Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll slip that on. Okay, now that that's on, just keep adding grease. Okay, then we'll put the next gear on, which is this black gear here. Okay, then you can go ahead and check. As you see, um, as I turn this lower gear here, it turns that gear, turns that gear, and turns that gear, and it, it's working. Okay, so we'll go ahead and add this last gear. Now if you look at this last gear here, it has notches inside, okay, which correspond to this little notch inside here, okay? So that's like a stopper. If you put this gear this way, then you'll have lots of travel. If you put it the opposite way, you'll have a little travel. So depending on which way you're going to put the servo arm, say I was going to put it that way, okay, I'd want a lot of travel on this side, so I would put the bigger gap on that side okay 
So when I'm putting this servo together, I got to keep that in mind. When I look at it, okay, I know this last gear is going to be here. This cover is going to go back on this way. So I'm going to put this gear on like that, okay? Now if you watch, all the gears are turning as they should, okay? Go ahead, I'm going to stick this cover back on. Okay, what you can do now is take your servo arm, put it on here, turn it back and forth. Make sure that you have nice, smooth travel now with no grinding, no chattering, none of that, okay? Once that's done, you go ahead and stick the back back on. Sometimes these things fight you a little bit. They are tiny little screws. Okay, we'll tighten these back up. And I'll just go ahead and stop there. I'll tighten the rest of it up a little bit a little bit later. Okay. <coughs> that's pretty much all there is to rebuilding a servo. I mean, if you have <coughs> problems with the board or with the motor and you gotta go that far in, you might as well just replace the servo. They're only, you know, fifteen to twenty dollars. They're not very expensive. Um you know, if you do have a bunch of spares, you can pull this harness out, you can unsolder it, and you can use it for parts to build a working servo, but I find that they're cheap enough um, to just replace it if you have to, and, you know, 9 out of 10 times, I'm able to just replace the gears, and the servo comes back to life with no problems. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Servo is done, rebuilt. You know, it's all greased up, everything's working, I have lots of travel on the side I need it, and, you know, there's a working servo. Okay, so stay tuned for part two, and I'm going to show you guys how to set up a servo in a helicopter um, so that you have a zero position, okay? Uh, part of setting it up before you go out and fly. Alright guys, so stay tuned.